Hi everybody, it's our blockchain and I'm coming to you from Consensus 22 with our very famous Ben. How are you doing Ben? Doing good, glad to be here. Uh, yeah, it's so good to see you. We actually met at Consensus yeah. 20, when? 19? Yeah, it's Way crazy. Back. It's, crazy. You know what's crazy is like how, how much all the people that were around back then, how much we're all doing. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really amazing to see how far all of us have came in the different areas where we were you know, creating content or you know, other people in different areas. It's really cool. I love reconnecting with people from many years ago because it's so cool to see success. I agree. I agree. And I, I'm very proud of you, what you're doing Thank in this you. space. I think it's amazing. All the and, and you keep going, you know what I mean? Just creating that content yeah. and coming up with new things and diversifying and growing. We're just getting started. That's true. I, I'm, what I'm curious about maybe is like how you've been scaling. So yeah. I think a lot of people know about what you do and the coins you talk about, mm -hmm. but I'm interested in like as a person, how you feel since I met you till now, how you've scaled yeah. and, and how that's been going for you. Well, I, I think first, you know, there, there's been a big transition for me kind of as a, as a person in crypto because, you know, I, I bought Bitcoin in 2012, but it was really 2017 I started getting into altcoins. And you're just so bullish because you see all the potential of decentralization and, and these utility coins. And then you see like in 2020, a lot of them start moving up and now a lot of them are already bust. And so you really got to get to a point where you mature. I think you start looking pretty much at the top coins. And that's what we do on my channel for the most part. Top 20 coins is about where we stick. As our scalability goes, um, you know, I hired my first employee, I guess, probably uh, the very beginning of 2020. And uh, now we have 60 and we have a 40,000 square foot studio. So for me, scaling is all about getting a good system. And I'm always able to tell all the people that work with me, like, remember, I used to do your job. I used to do it all by myself. And you slowly but surely start adding one person here, one person there, one person here. And then before you know, you've got a really dynamic team and you've got really creative people. And you're able to push much further. And, and I think that, um, you know, one thing that people constantly run up to when it comes to scaling in the content creation space is there's always, it, it's always easier to do things yourself at first because there's a large learning curve and when you're having to teach someone how to do something, it's almost like you're having to do twice the work because you're still having to go behind them and do it and then you're also teaching them and it kind of sucks the life out of you. And so if you can just get through those beginning stages where you're scaling and learning like, I really have to let go and delegate and let people do what they're going to do. Um, and I do what I'm good at, which is talking about crypto, and then we all scale together. So That's amazing. So it sounds like basically a lot of it is patience of being there with the people, but also empathy because you have to sure. realize you've been there, you've done it, and you keep reminding them of that. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's something uh, like we had a team meeting, I guess, probably about a month ago, and there were a lot of my employees that like they weren't around when I started the channel. They may not have even been into crypto. And so I, we had a meeting and I basically told everybody like, remember, I know right now it's a bear market. Things are hard. Videos aren't getting as many views. We're not getting as, as much bang for our buck. But I went through this before in 2019 and I really built while things were down. And there's a constant um, kind of recycling going on in, in the crypto space where there's time where you're planting, you know, there's a time where you're watering and growing and there's a time when you're harvesting. And right now, it's not the harvesting time. And this is the hard time. And helping people to understand that this is normal. We've been through this before. This is the time you really got to grind and move forward. That's a really comforting message to those people. Well, yeah. And I think it's amazing how many people still are here today. Yeah. You know, compared to the last time I saw you, right? Yeah. So it's a bear market, but it's a bear market. But it's like, it's a, it's so many more people are still here. So many people still flew in here. Yeah, I mean, the, the numbers for, I mean, we see it in our meetups. We, we draw more people at our meetups. We'll have anywhere between uh, five and eight hundred people at just a meetup at a random city. That's more than crypto conferences were getting, period, back in 2017, 2018, 2019. Um, uh, me and my business partner, TJ, we make a lot of jokes about going to conferences in 2019, and there would be like 30 people there. You know, yeah. there was nobody. And so to see the people, it's kind of like every time we have one of these market cycles, we bring more people in who understand it's not just about making money. Yes, we all want to make money. Everybody, if you're in this space for a long time, you will do well and financially. But it's about the message of what crypto is and the decentralization and, and basically moving the world forward and just the, the evolution of technology and, and, and understand that is really big. And how do you find that you also balance your, your life? Because you're doing so much. You've been doing so much. Mm -hmm. So I have a whole life. This is really shocking to people. I have a whole life outside of crypto. Uh, I coach uh, a travel baseball team. Um, I'm with my family a lot. I, that's, I come to these conferences, but I'm going to leave out this afternoon on Friday because I've got stuff with my kids this weekend. 
So I always put my family first. I think that's, that's to me, like uh, to hear Elon Musk talk. Elon Musk always says like, no, work comes before family. That's why he's got a lot of failed relationships. Like, I can't stand that. I think you put your family first no matter what, and, and you've got to keep that balanced, and then that helps you keep recharge and rejuvenate to be able to continue on your business. So my family understands that, um, you know, I generally work like nine to six every day, and then I come home and then we're at the ballpark or doing other things, we're on vacation uh, this month, we're going to Disney World. I think even that work-life balance is extremely important, and I think that's a big part of my success. Like if it wasn't for my wife that's so supportive of the fact that I do all that I do, then it would never work, so. That's amazing. I love to hear that and I love that message because I, I think you're right. You know, we're living in a world that's pretty imbalanced, so we have to find balance somewhere. Absolutely. And recharging our batteries. Yeah. And what do you think is the message you want to send right now to the audience in terms of the market? Like, what do you what do you want to leave it off with? To the moon! No, I'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I think I really preach on my channel about the Bitcoin for your cycles. So far, they've been dead on based on Bitcoin having. We basically see after the halving of it, we get one and a half years of parabolic action, one year dramatic drop, one and a half years of, of uh, slow come up. Right now, we're in the one year of the big drop. And so right now, people should not necessarily be expecting Bitcoin to bottom anytime soon, probably by the end of the year. And this is the hardest time because even after Bitcoin bottoms, it will probably slowly move up. And that's when people start giving up on the market. So my big encouragement to people is, just don't give up. For those of us that have been through multiple market cycles and multiple bear markets, it comes back. You can't have all the institutional interest that we have right now. You can't have the regulation coming in without people understanding this is gonna be here for a long time. And I think that's the big mistake a lot of people make during these times. They start thinking, oh, I really believe in this, but the prices are down, so maybe it's not gonna be what it's gonna be. It's kinda of like we were talking about the content creation, the recycling of you know, time to plant, time to grow, time to harvest. And right now is the planting time, and that's where you should really be looking to accumulate. I love it, I love it. And for anybody who's like new and may not know you, uh, like what, like how can they connect with you? Yeah. So if you look up BitBoy Crypto, you'll find me. <laughs> I'm, I'm really easy to find. Uh, we have about 1.45 million uh, subscribers on YouTube. Uh, we've got 6 million total social media followers between Twitter and TikTok and Instagram and some other accounts. So we're really easy to find, but also, I'll never contact you, so be careful. We have a lot of impersonators out there. You gotta be really careful for people asking, like, you know, pretending to be a content creator or an influencer and saying, hey, come invest with me. That's always a scam. So. And where would you encourage people to start? Well, uh, we have a, a website called BitLab Academy, so bitlabacademy.com. This is kind of, it ranges courses from beginner all the way to expert. It's dynamic, so we're adding new courses every single month and constantly trying to make the product better. So that's a good place to go start if you want to get into crypto and kind of learn the basics. We're actually starting a pre-beginner course because what we found is even the beginner courses can be a little uh, much for people. So we're trying to constantly dial it in and making sure it's giving the most benefit to the most people. And I, I like that, and I think that's part of your success is making it so accessible and so real and bringing in your personality. That's what helps people connect. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, my mom always told me I was special. There you go. <laughs> and thank you so much. It's so good to see you again. Yeah, great to see you as well. Awesome.